Well, okay, YouTube. It is August 11th. Okay, this is my second video I'll put up today. Earlier, I put up a video on my Paradigm Magma by Infinite RDAs. I did the parallel, the dual parallel build in this. Right, the, the, the sleeper parallel build, I should say. Well, like I said before, when I got my W14, my Igo W14, I was hoping to do triple parallel 24 gauge in here. Well, I am successful. Been fiddling around with this for approximately about a half hour. This W14 is actually kind of a pain in the neck to build on. And then doing parallels on there with the way that repost system works. I mean, the, the one post in the center and then the three hots or the negatives on the side. Okay, it's kind of hard to keep those coils straight. I wish they had like a tri bar in there or something, something like similar to the Helios to where it would uh, have three separate holes on a center platform so you can tie each coil individually. Well, that would make it a lot easier. So anyhow, I am going to go ahead and get this wicked up. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how it burns. Really nice. I haven't even tested the ohms on it yet. Looks like one's heating a little bit faster than the other two, but I, it's about as good as I can get these coils on here. Like I said, it's kind of a pain in the neck build. But it's getting hot. But they're actually running pretty nice. Let me get this to cool down, and it looks like I got a piece of canthal in my deck. I do. I want to get that out of there. Let's get that canthal out of the deck there. Piece of trimming there. Anything else? That looks good. Cool. So I'm going to let this cool down a little bit. So, like I said, it's a parallel 24 gauge around uh, 760 fourths. And I'm going to be able to put a lot of cotton in here. So, here it goes. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run my cotton through my coils. And then I'm going to create my cloud bottom of the, in the, the juice reservoir there. I actually ordered more of this unbleached USA grown organic cotton. I really like this stuff a lot. It is so not easy to work with but it is very flavorful. The wick's really nice. Actually, let's put this over here. Drop that down there. Yeah, this is going to be cool. And this is also going to be a horizontal build. It's my first horizontal build on this Igo W14. My previous build on the W14, which I liked a whole lot, was the twisted 24 gauge. Very nice build in there. Very productive. I was real happy with it. But I had this hair at my butt. You know, from the beginning I wanted to do parallels. Well, the hair at my butt got a little bit long and I had to take care of it. And here it is. Finally got my parallels. 24 gauge. One new piece, and I'll make my little cloud in the bottom there. Oh, boy. 
just to throw it in there. Any vapor should have a really nice pair of scissors. Just pick these up today. For hair cutting scissors. It's not for 10 bucks. My local supermarket. Actually work really super well no matter where you're cutting on them, the tip or whatnot. They shear right through the cut. Now the scissors I used to use before, you've probably seen them, they were my Kershaw's. Kershaw Taskmaster. Very nice scissors as well. Very sharp. Only thing is, I don't like carrying those in my my vape box when I'm out, out, of, out and about because they're a little bit big. But the Kershaw Taskmasters, here I'll get them out for you. These are the Kershaw Taskmasters, okay? Very nice scissors, very sharp, extremely sharp. Right there, you see this? That's a bone cutter. Stick your finger in there, it'll lop it right off. But uh, yeah, very nice. These little scissors I got here, I just bought them today over at the local supermarket. Work great. They even came with a little sharpener. So I can make sure they're razor sharp at all times. For 10 bucks? Shit, couldn't go wrong. Bought my wife a pair of hair cutting scissors one time. Very nice professional hair cutting scissors. Those things were like 150 bucks. That's crazy shit, isn't it? All right, we're looking good here. So, here's the cotton, my wicking. Okay, tri coil, tri parallels, I should say. Make sure we got those coils. There we go, look at that. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, buddy. Let's get this thing juiced up. Oh yeah, but before I juice it, I mean before I fire it, I'm going to actually take it off and see what it owns out in. I don't even know yet. Trying to stick it in. I haven't even put this on my own meter yet. I actually built these coils right on my mod, on my sting right here. Kind of made it a little easier to build them on the on the mod itself because I can grab onto it, torque down on it as I needed to. This thing's thirsty. There's a lot of juice. Let's see how it fires real quick. This is on, a, it's not even a fully charged battery. Yeah. Pretty nice, man. Must say, pretty nice. Just give it a little bit more juice. Let's take it off, home it out. Yes, torquing it down while I was building the coils on the mod was probably a bad idea. Can't get it apart. <laughs> what a dildo. There we go. Alright, I'm going to guesstimate it's probably about a point one. Maybe a point one two ish. We'll find out right now. Oh, point five. Wow. My bad. Let's see how this point five produces. Make sure it doesn't have any shorts. If it 
does have trust. And now it's only at six million. Now it's about 0.6 ohms now. Well, let's see how it does. Well, she howdy. Okay, going on my stingray, 0.6650. Wow. Make sure everything's tight. Very nice. All right, baby. All right, folks, let's give this a whirl. I'm going to juice it up a little bit more. Cappy, vape on it. Let's see what she can do. Looks like I'm lying on the freaking radio. Bear with me one second. Oh, yeah, this is what I did. Cool. Simple fix. And there she goes. Not bad. Okay, now, let me put a fresh battery in here. Battery is pretty low. This battery is going to sizzle. Shizzle my nizzle. All right. This baby up all the way. Yeah, this thing holds a shitload of juice. I like it. Okay, here she goes. <laughs> I'm playing on my trip kit there. Yep, fresh battery. Yeah. Big difference. Potter. <coughs> now, I don't know. I don't know if I'm too impressed with this as to compare it to my Twisted 24s. The Twisted 24s actually hit super nice. I'll play around with this for a few hours and see what happens. <laughs> That's what this is for. Favorite beer. Kona Brewery. Air conditioning is blowing, that's why the clouds flying away like it is. <coughs> not bad. Not bad at all. Not as good as my twisted 24s, but not bad. Well, there you have it, folks. For now, that's it. And vape on.